Wassail star seeds. So, this full moon in Gemini, which is actually slightly because of procession in Taurus, in truth, um, is a tricky, difficult moment. This is the last full moon of endings that we've got before we move into this solar eclipse. And I am hoping that today's reading we could have a little bit of seasonal festive joy being delivered. But I will let the cards tell us what they need to tell us. So let's see what we get. So immediately the energies will start out balanced but they're going to fade down. So maybe for you star seeds, this energy will feel quite strong to begin with and then slowly dissipate down towards the full moon. And we're starting with starfish. Now starfish is all about regeneration, you break a piece off a starfish, well not you personally, but a piece gets broken from a starfish and the starfish will regenerate. This is about how this is, we're getting ready to regenerate. Starfish like to bask in the sunshine and this is divine masculine eclipse energy coming towards us. So you'll have two weeks. This is also though, card talks about this is kind of like a this is the card i see as soulmate energy in uh, tarot readings and this is star seed energy as well because it's stars so i'm thinking that perhaps there's going to be connections with star seed families that are gonna to start to grow stronger is what I'm hearing. Let's see what else we're given. Okay, Sea Serpent, which is a spirit card. Sea Serpent is solar plexus energy and this is about unlocking the solar plexus to rebirth it, to let it come out again. It's like, it's like a game of noughts and crosses is taking place for you and where you put your noughts and where you put your crosses during the next two weeks are going to matter for how you regenerate forwards. So let's see what the animal tarot has. So what messages do we have for star seeds, please? What messages do we have for star seeds, please? What messages do we have for star seeds? And we'd really like some jolly festive messages. I'm getting, I just had a closure of a resonance suggesting that <laughs> there's not gonna be any jolly festiveness. Okay, so no, this is gonna be a tricky time for you. I'm sorry about that. I really wanted to offer you some easy joy for the next two weeks, but the cosmos has got different ideas. There's a massive transformation coming. This is this divine masculine sun energy with Jupiter beaming down behind us. And it's asking you to play your noughts and crosses, to put your markers into where you want. Now, <clears throat> Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn, there's a massive build-up of planets in Sagittarius. Uh, not in Sagittarius, in Capricorn. I'm so sorry. I'm so obsessed with Sagittarius at the moment. Uh, in Capricorn. And this energy is going to be pushing forwards this notion. They're the karmic planets. They want you to create your dream, bring your dreams into reality. But to do that, you've got to decide what the markers are that you want to bring in with the future. You're being given Pluto. I think Pluto's also in uh, Capricorn. So there's a lot going on. Um, 
<clears throat> energy wise there's energies pushing forwards to reach in remember we're going into capricorn season soon so and that's going to begin just before the eclipse so uh this is judgment coming in as karmic gifting and what is the offer that it's offering what's the gift that's coming this is the high priestess this is knowledge this is contact from your star seed families you're going to be getting downloads of information from star seed families and then we've also got the nine of pentacles this is about being a strong independent person in the world with material gains and that doesn't mean really it's not about money coming into you even though it's the nine of pentacles and um, this is about you finally finding your place on this planet in this space your family your starseed family will be giving you information as to how you move forwards <clears throat> and take your place step into the world join with the world to make your position clear we've got the nine of air the nine of air is usually anxiety so this is nine and nine 99 is a magical higher dimensional ninth dimension message from spirit guides ascended masters all of those groups around you and your cosmic ancestors are coming in to say we we're here because we want to change the way you function in the world we want to turn all of those swords those pains, those anxieties, all the things that throughout your whole life have been difficult and we want to create them into beautiful, spiritual, soft, feathery messages to help you find your place, okay? And that really is rather wonderful. So, as I said, the energy is calmness an intensity dropping to calmness. So this is lifelong tension that you've had that's coming down. So you've got number nine. I mean, seriously, look. <laughs> Don't you just love it when it all works like this? 999, it's an emergency. So what's being said is brown bear spirit take time out so you are being gifted sorry i held up the wrong ones there 999 that's the 999 emergency you're being told to take time out this moon is your time to take time out from all of those things see the things that stressed you ask yourself why did i not connect now my suspicion as to why you didn't connect because i've been getting a lot of messages channeled through about this is that throughout your entire life you've had a fear of grounding because when we when you ground into the earth and accept the energy of the earth the energy of the earth throughout your life has been raw masculine energy and your fear as star seeds is that if you link into that earth you will take on board being empathic you will absorb the anger the selfishness the jealousy the fury that comes with this and so you've been avoiding and this is why most of the time you hear starseed people saying i just don't want to be here i want to go home look understand the energy of the planet is changing to divine masculine that's emotional and it can balance itself with the divine feminine. So your higher frequency divine feminine that's been holding you up um, and keeping you from grounding is going to change. You're gonna be able to ground into a golden light that's gonna be in the earth grid. So take time out 
to practice grounding to the earth. This is going to help you. It's going to bring health to all kinds of parts of your body. Your molecules are owned by the earth. If you can't ground because you're fearful of the energy of the earth, then you're making your molecules want that energy so they feel sick. This is going to bring about a lot of changes to people. So we have five of air, five of swords. This is that sense that there's been a battle. Your life has been a battle, a lifetime. And this is saying that that battle is over. It's, there's no winners, there's no losers. It's just over. It's a thing that was and it was troublesome and it was hard but it's over. You need to accept that it's over. You need to accept that you can move gracefully into the new energies that are shaping up for 2020. You've then got the three of fire, three of wands. This is your ships coming in. This is that lifetime of being stuck, now becoming unstuck. So you can move, you can drift into the world with an acceptance of knowing you have your place now. And then you have card 36, which is yet another nine. And three, six and nine, when they're together, are the magic code. You've got koi fish spirit. There is always enough. This is what is coming to you. There's always been enough, but you haven't been able to participate in it. The energy's been wrong. So the energy is changing. You are going to be given wondrous new opportunities to take place in, to take your place in the world and in life. Okay, so let's have a little look for messages from here. We've got three. Wow, these are beautiful. I mean, you know, this is a tense moon and yet you're being given 51, a six, intimacy. This is intimacy between you and the earth. This isn't intimacy between you and other people. It's between you and the earth, this intimacy, because actually during this period, there's gonna be tension arising around ordinary relationships that we have with people. And then you've got cards 53 and 54, which is rest and retreat. I mean, what wonderful energy to be offered for this full moon as we head towards the eclipse with the Divine Masculine coming in. So look to how you love yourself, star seeds. Look to how you love yourself, star seeds. Allow this death of the old you, the anxious you, and do that through rest and retreat. Feel that, take time out. This is your moment to enjoy things that are promised to come towards you in 2020. This is a massive energy change, massive energy change. So one Last little look at the shamanics. I was trying to avoid this deck because I didn't want to go too deep. Um, and the first card that came out is so deep. It's curse, but curse is the the curse of the star seed is ending. That sense of being blocked and unable to participate in the energies of the world are changing you know we've got these nines all these nines nine this nine here this ending of things i've got another nine somewhere but i've misplaced it so you've got flow flow is coming towards you flow of energy with the earth and how do we know these are all coming in? Because the ancient ones, your cosmic family, are here to assist you 
in these beautiful changes that are taking place. This is going to be an absolutely lovely and rewarding two weeks, even though the energy of this moon is going to feel quite tense for a lot of people not connected. If you connect with the seat of your emotions, if you connect with the seat of your emotions and unlock the space in which you love yourself and the earth, bring your spirit, your cosmic consciousness down into this sacral chakra, there's all kinds of wonderful energies. Oh, and look, as a final energy, you're being given dear spirit. Earth yourself. Bring yourself intimacy with the earth through your sacral and your root chakra and you will sense the joy of this gentle, beautiful, divine feminine energy that will for the first time in your life connect to the earth. So you need to do an exercise where you let your every single molecule of your body belongs to earth energy divine masculine earth energy you need to practice meditating and grounding to widen and deepen your connection with the earth for the first time that thing you've been understandably fearing is changing so ground yourself, expand deeper and deeper into the earth energy as it becomes divine. And then your cosmic ancestors, the ancient ones, these people who've lived everything that you can't imagine, will pull spirit, divine feminine spirit, really down deep and start to create new things. This is judgment. This is your destiny. This is what's coming. It's all happening now, star seeds. So, have a beautiful time. Enjoy the moment as you head towards this solar eclipse and try and really find a way to embrace the energy changes, okay? Wassail and happy Yuletide.